Hi, my name is Paljor. I'm a model. Today I'm reporting on behalf of News 9, standing in front of Garden City College, and I'm going to talk on the various civic issues what we face in this locality called TC Palya. So come with me. The first civic issue in TC Palya I would like to highlight is this lake behind me, you see. It's infested with mosquitoes and uh, it's full of algae and there's a lot of sewage just, uh, dumped out here. So this is posing a problem for many of the students in Garden City and the residents living in and around this lake uh, with regards to mosquito and, you know, probably such thing as it promotes these kinds of diseases like uh, malaria and such things like that. So this is what we have. And uh, something has to be done about this because uh, none of the... Uh, local government or any organization is taking part in doing something about this. The road also seems pretty bad. You see the rough patch of road over here. And uh, the main main thing is the waste disposal is being directly being dumped into this lake out here. Uh, as per my opinion, I feel the authorities have to do something about the lake. Say like they should uh, organize some kind of a cleaner program to... Uh, First, remove all the algae from the lake and you see those waste disposals. So probably some kind of a, uh, initiative should be taken when it comes to uh, cleaning up this whole lake and such. And we also require uh, initiation and we also require cooperation from the residents of this area so that uh, everyone is benefited out of this cleanup program. This problem we are facing out here, the civic issue regarding this lake, it seems to be of a major issue out here, is it? Uh, yes, it is because it's just very close proximity to the college campus and many of the PGs where the students are living is also close to the lake. So what happens is because of all the sewage dump uh, and uh, no cleaning whatsoever has been done in the past three years that I've been here. So there's algae growth, there's a lot of mosquitoes around which causes a lot of problem during the evenings inside the campus and also to the PG students who come, uh, who are living across, uh, near the vicinity of the lake. So definitely the local authorities should take a step to clean up this place because uh, for the past three years at least, all the time that I've been here, nothing has been done about it. The other issue is the road out here. See, we, we don't have any tar as such on the road. It's very patchy, full of bumps. And uh, I'm told that there is a factory somewhere nearby in this locality and uh, we have many heavy vehicles passing by that probably could have really spoiled the, the quality of this road. So something really has to be done because this is also creating a major uh, threat when it comes to uh, safety and when it comes to uh, uh, safety of the students and the residents of this area. So. Um, I would really appreciate that if uh, the local authorities could do something about this, something about the road, something about the lake, and uh, it would really be of uh, it would really be a pleasure actually if you know someone really takes the initiative in doing something about this. The main problem here is of roads and the lake we, that's behind nearby our college. It stinks and it is a big pro huge problem for all of us. The water thing is. Uh, I mean, troubling all the students very badly during exam time. The roads, when the bikers come, all the trucks come. It uh, the noise thing is too much there during the exam time. It it disturbs us throughout the night, in the morning. All these things are. As you can see, the next civic issue would be this wasteland you see out here. Initially, it was a government land, which was specifically planned as such to build a park. But now, as you can see, the government has sold this land to some private owner and he has developed it into a wasteland. A wasteland where garbage is being littered and garbage is being burnt. And most of the garbage is piles of pharmaceutical products. And this is also encouraging youngsters to come to this wasteland and uh, getting involved in many unethical activities. So uh, the local authorities will have to do something to rectify this problem and see to it that this wasteland is being used for a positive purpose. There's huge garbage dump yard okay. like in Kitigno yes, and yes. that is the breeding place for the mosquitoes and other kind of insects. Mm -hmm. So like uh, it's you know it's gonna create health problems and all for uh, like local people here. It's very easy to blame the BBMP or any of the local authorities for the civic issues we're facing right now. But as per my opinion I feel the city is made by the citizens and we are equally responsible.
If we citizens join hands with the local authorities, we can make this place a better place to live in. And don't make this garden city a garbage city. With camera person Sashi, this is Paul Jagabak reporting for News 9.